1956 Atlantic hurricane season, the 1956 Atlantic hurricane season featured a decent number of tropical cyclones, although most tropical storms and hurricanes affected land. There were 12 tropical storms, a third of which became hurricanes. Several tropical depressions formed that did not attain tropical storm status, many of which formed beneath an unfavorable upper-level trough. ACE is only calculated for full advisories on tropical systems at or exceeding 34 knots or tropical storm strength. On June 8, the storm accelerated to the northeast ahead of an approaching cold front, weakening to a tropical depression the next day, and becoming an extratropical cyclone within the front on June 10. On June 12, the interaction between the trough and a tropical wave spawned a tropical depression in the Bay of Campeche. The newly developed tropical cyclone tracked northward, quickly intensifying into a tropical storm. Shortly after the previous storm dissipated, another tropical depression developed on June 17 from a trough, about 500 miles east of the southern Florida coast. The origins of Tropical Storm Carla were from a tropical wave that spawned a depression near the Bahamas on September 7. A Hurricane Hunter's flight on September 12 reported winds of 76 miles per hour in the storm's northeast quadrant, as a result, the depression was upgraded to Tropical Storm Ethel. On October 10, the storm turned to the north and weakened to a tropical depression. The depression moved slowly west for the next 12 hours, becoming a tropical storm thereafter, E7A762269671.